Hello fellas and welcome to part 8, I think, I can't really remember, um, of our, what is it called, platformer tutorial series. Um, in this one we are going to do bounce for the camera movement. So let's just jump right in. And now we are in the script. Um, so what we are going to do... Um, is limiting uh, where the camera can go for example by limiting the uh, maybe so the camera can't go down uh, under this um, platform for example so we are just going to do that for this tutorial um, and the way we are going to do it is by this so first of all we need to create some new uh, newer variables um, first we are going to create a new boolean called um, um, bounce just if to check or uncheck if you want to uh, make boundaries for the camera and then we're going to create two more called um, uh, like two three uh, minimum camera position and public vector three maximum uh, camera position um, so let's go down to a fixed update again and then check if we have enabled bounce or not so if we have bounce let's um, let's uh, make boundaries for the camera so um, let's do this um, uh, let's set the transform dot position equals to new vector three. So uh, we're going to say math f dot clamp um, clamp does so it doesn't exceed um, a value. Um, so let's set the um, transform. Oh wait a minute. Uh, yeah, transform dot position dot x uh, to minimum camera position dot x and um, then we are going to say um, max camera position uh, to max camera position dot x um, and we're going to say uh, get out of the uh, brackets and make a new comma and go down the line and here we're going to say mathf a clamp um, this is for the y um, transform transform dot position dot y and we're going to clamp it to minimum camera position and dot dot y and maximum camera position dot y and then we're going to say comma again and go down line and say math f dot clamp transform dot position dot c um, minimum camera position dot c and maximum camera position dot c so yeah when we go in here we can see that we got two new variables and uh, actually three bounds minimum camera pose and maximum camera pose pose position um <laughs> So we are going to enable bounce. Um, so we're going to set the minimum camera position, which we're going to set to this right here. Oh, you can find the minimum camera position by uh, placing the camera and then see if it works for you. And then uh, set the minimum camera position to this. Um, so 1.4 1, 1 and 2.9 and minus 10 it can actually also be minus 10 here because we won't change the C. Um, so what we are doing here is um, we've set the uh, minimum X position to 1.4 and I guess we won't do that because then we can't move to the left 
which would be pretty annoying, um, I guess. Um, so let's just put that to a, a another number like minus hundred, so we can go go way way over here. Um, and then so the minimum y position is here, so we are not going to get below this point here, which is nice. And um, here we are going to set the max position for the x, and we also want to go like far away on the x-axis. So we are going to set that to maybe a thousand, so it doesn't actually, uh, or you have to go a long way for it to clamp the x. Um, and for the y, also just set it to a thousand because uh, we d we don't have to do that right now. Um, you can do it if you have another level. Uh, so let's see if this works. And it does. As you can see, the player is under the camera, and the camera should actually be attached uh, or be right at the center of the player. But we have created boundaries, so it doesn't can. Uh, but it so it does. What am I saying? So I cannot go under these values. Um, so yeah, it works good. It works fine. And we have double jumping and it's nice. Um, so um, for the next one, we are going to make it easier to assign these values. Um, so by creating uh, buttons in the inspector, um, which is going to be a little bit more advanced. Um, you don't have to do it, but you can do it if you want, so that it's just going to be additional uh, tutorial. So, um, yeah, and that is basically everything for this tutorial. If you have, have, if you have any questions, um, please ask in the comment section. I will answer. And uh, stay subscribed like and share and thank you for watching goodbye fellas